Hello everyone and now welcome to game one in a series between Sonic and Foggy. We have Foggy spawning as the red night elf player over here on the top right hand side of Amazonia. Meanwhile on the bottom left we have Sonic spawning as the yellow night elf. I'll probably try to refer to them as their colors as opposed to their names as I will get confused from time to time. And well this is a night elf versus night elf mirror match. Now what are we going to be expecting to see in this mirror match? Well, I'm expecting to see both players open up with Demon Hunters Ancients of War um, early to their creep camps and then trying to get established, clear, getting up to level 2, maybe getting that rogue and then moving right along. The follow-up play, however, may differ significantly as players have been known to go for Dryads and Bears or some other sort of late tech. We'll see if that is going to be the case here the since this is a mirror match as we are already looking at the Ancient of War tanking a bit of damage here. Lightning Shield quickly onto that archer. That archer is going to maximize its damage by standing next to the Renegade Wizard and this rogue down across here. Purposely moving away making sure that these units don't take too much damage and don't get actually felled by either the Lightning Shield or that Ancient of War. Meanwhile down on the south side we see very very similar strategy coming in from the Yellow Knight Elf player Sonic as the Demon Hunter just now arrives to the scene. Now, what does this all mean here? It means that both players will have level two access and get mana burn and evasion and then perhaps move right along. The big question is, is anyone gonna make a critical mistake here? Perhaps lose an Ancient of War or spend too much time repairing. It looks as though um, it looks as though Foggy does a great, great job. He's regenerating some hit points, and now he is moving back both sides with level two demon hunters, Ring of Protection, Mantle of Intelligence versus Cloak of Shadows. Well, being able to shadow yeah, meld versus insane. having an additional plus three intelligence. I'm not sure who really wins out there. As an archer does find a scouting wisp from oh, Foggy and will be able to cat. shoot it down. Demon hunter down to the south side here purposely going after this forest troll berserker very very interesting strategy here as we now see the archer has picked off that one unit demon hunter will be able to finish off the forest troll berserker but the demon hunter um, of sonic is now trying to put pressure on all of these wisp as you know the wisp are um, are just positioned in such a way where the demon hunter has to walk around much more of the map to try to get constantly within melee range. Foggy doing a great job there as the Demon Hunter is going to go ahead and exchange some mana burns and continue to move out. It looks as though a circlet of nobility versus um, a mantle of intelligence have been picked up on both sides. And we'll see what is going to come here as we now have, well, Foggy looking to pick up sell that cloak of sh uh, sell everything pretty much and pick up boots of speed demon hunter down across to the south there you can see that those two forest troll trappers were actually positioned and pulled away a quick mana burn once more and that's actually a very very nice play from foggy in order to attack. limit the item get the additional amount of gold there without taking too much damage on his demon hunter we can see that both sides are just engaging in the middle of the field they're not going to be able to really do that much damage though as both sides should be perhaps looking to start teching into their mid game. We can see Tree of Ages about two thirds of the way done on both sides. Foggy a little bit behind there as we are going to be looking at dual Ancients of Lore, most likely perhaps for some bears and dryads. Now, what is that second hero going to be? That is often the big, big question. Are you going to be going for that Naga Sea Witch? Or are you going to play a little bit more late game with the Keeper of the Grove? The Keeper of the Grove does, does have Entangle, which is fairly powerful until the Dryads have a large amount of mana. Following that, though, the Thorns Aura really, really becomes the bread and butter, as we should also be looking at Stabs of Preservation on both heroes. Staff of Preservation has, has a relatively short cooldown, but what you really want to make sure is you want to save all of um, your bears. And let's see who's going to get the final hit there. It looks as though, oh, um, it looks as though Foggy got the final hit there. Did he get the item? Um, I do believe so. He picked up another Cloak of Shadows. The Cloak of Shadows does not want to leave him as we're looking at 200 mana versus, well, 15. All right, not quite sure why they are engaging there at all as the Demon Hunter now is going to back away. Moonwells um, have been are getting fairly full so the demon hunter are going to be able to heal back up you want to try and get oh, a little bit of healing going time. early on and um, should have perhaps picked it from the more full Moonwells that way leaving a little bit more in the remaining as we're looking at the demon hunter of the yellow player Sonic 
in order to finish up all of these four troll trapper creep camps. All right, Ancient of War is in position. Demon Hunter sitting at level three. It's going to be level three versus a level three momentarily after the top left mercenary camp is cleared out. Renegade Wizard with two enforcers dropping into position. That Renegade Wizard is going to be uh, taking a lot of damage. And the big issue here is that it does have medium armor. Lightning Shield also being added as well. Demon Hunter having a very big trouble. Arch, Arch is the Archer. Oh, Archer with the Lightning Shield does not get the final kill there. Demon Hunter actually still gets the level three but leaves behind a very important Sobi mask and that is going to be a very big issue once more. Keeper of the Grove is now out on the field. There is a mana burn. 100 mana already lost as we're looking at the Keeper of the Grove from the other side. This is a true mirror match so far as the Demon Hunter now in serious, serious trouble. Where is he going to go? What is he going to do? Archers are all in position. Red Archers are all in position here as the Demon Hunter now trying to run back here. There's an Entangle. Entangle once more and we should be looking at a scroll of Town Portal. Yes, we do. Another scroll of Town Portal does go down. Down. Archers were all teleported away as the Keeper of the Grove and Demon Hunter may try to clear out this 5-3-3 creep camp um, during this little bit of a reprieve here. All right, Demon Hunter pretty much back up to full. Keeper of the Grove getting a little bit more hit points. A you can see the dual Ancients of attack. Lore already being added as the bears are going to be critical in that upcoming fight. So far, Foggy has been playing a very interesting game, just killing the majority of his opponent's creeps, but making sure to only kill the ones that drop items. I guess that is a definite, definite benefit there. As we're looking at the top right, we are getting into that Abolish Magic and Claw of Adept training. All right, Abolish Magic going to be much more important with the Keeper of the Groves out on the field. Meanwhile, a Demon Hunter Illusion still wandering around here. Demon Hunter going to try to come in. Does it get a mana burn off? Looks as though it has no more mana. Does um, remove 100 off of his opponent as the Demon Hunter now going in for an engagement. Dryad's getting picked apart right there. Mana burn there as well as two units going to get taken out. The Keeper of the Grove going to finish off those units without much of an issue. So far, Demon Hunter still doing a great job finishing off another Archer right there as we do have a Manual of Health. Come on, read your books, players, as the Demon Hunter now coming into position here. All right, Wand of Illusion. The Demon Hunter does not have enough mana. Could back off here for just a moment. You can see him just trying to create a bit of a wall as the Archer may get taken out as well. One more shot and it will get taken down. There it goes as the units are going to be forced to back out again. Mana burn back onto that Keeper of the Grove. No real reason to be sticking around in this fight. He cannot hope to really leverage that much of an advantage at this point, especially with his opponent getting at least a little bit of home field advantage. Reinforcements, those rejuvenations, and now I believe Foggy realizes this is not a good fight to be in. He should head back out, perhaps pick up that tome if he actually spots it, and make his way away. All right, let's take a look at this here. Keeper of the Grove engaging back over here. Dryad is going to be forced to retreat. What is going on? I cannot believe Foggy is still in this fight here. But now we see Goblin Sappers. All right, all of that could be changed for Goblin Sappers. And it looks as though the Goblin Sapper is going to get taken down. Mana Burn onto the, um, onto the Druid of the Claw. And what looked like a rather cute play all of a sudden turns into a horrendous play as the Druid of the Claw has taken far too much damage and lost 100 mana as well. All right, the Goblin Zeppelin will need to get away. Is it going to be able to pick it up? Pick up that Keeper of the Grove, picks up the other units, and now tries to retreat. All right, the Goblin Zeppelin has plenty of hit points, not in danger of falling unless it aggros these creeps far too much. It looks as though, nope, it is just going to be able to get away. Meanwhile, still here, Manual of Health. Is it going to get picked up? Someone has to spot this. Seriously, someone a has to spot that there and know that it is there. Meanwhile, the Granite Golem um, going to get into position here. And interesting, interesting. We are looking at, um, well, the Granite Golems attacking that Ancient of War down across here. And now the Bears are going to be in position on the Sasquatches. Meanwhile, back to the top right, we have... We have Foggy once more getting those bears. He is going to have mastery training. And I really think that Foggy just overstayed that fight for far too long. He didn't need to be in that position, took too much damage, and didn't really get much out of that engagement. Meanwhile, back over here, you can see that Sonic now has a good number of bears. He does have thorns or a 48 over 50 supply compared to 49 over 50. Army sizes are pretty much the same as the Keeper of the Grove finally gets level 2 here. Both sides, thorns are going to be extremely important, but slow has been cast across many of Foggy's units. Here comes the engagement. A lot of bears, a lot of dryads as the engagement is still going forward. Who's going to be coming across here? 
We are still looking at Goblin Zeppelin play coming in from Foggy, doing a great job. Even Microween, a low hit point bear. And let's take a look at what's going to be happening next. Low hit point bear in the backfield. You see the Dryad trying to get away. It looks as though it should get taken down. Yes, it does. Mana burn once more as the Keeper of the Grove is still trying to head back. Keeper of the Grove does have an Orb of Venom, but... It is not going to be very, very helpful here at all. It has a Staff of Preservation. Will it be able to get away? Demon Hunter, no Staff of Preservation. And that's one of those situations where you really want two Staffs of Preservation. All right, Demon Hunter going after Goblin Zeppelin, picking up. Sonic now trying to retreat once more. Bear is still engaging back in midfield as Sonic is going to be forced to retreat back home. Well, nope. Um... Foggy going to be retreating back home. He has a lot of low hit point bears, but this is exactly what you want to see. A lot of low hit point bears who, with just a little bit of time and mana, will be able to get back up to full. He needs to unload them, get them back into druid form, and in a hurry in order to be able to start healing them up. All right, there you go. There is some rejuvenation. That is, a, that, that is, over, that is over 16 supply all in the red right there as we're looking at the bears now trying to engage here all right bears gonna be regenerating those hit points units up in that front line absorbing a lot of that damage the demon hunter with evasion making sure to take the majority of that damage there also with a replenishment potion should be able to heal back up without much of an issue should probably be using that now just so it has enough mana burn later meanwhile back across here you can see that the bears are pretty much back up to full on both sides as we're looking at, well, the follow-up play here. Granite Golems couldn't cause a lot of problems. They do have a pound attack like Thunderclap from the Mountain King. It does slow down a lot of the units as well. As we also see a boulder hitting the head of that Demon Hunter there. So far, a lot of attacks going across. Granite Golem is trying to escape, unable to escape, and now just walking back and forth. This last Granite Golem will get taken down, but a potential Creepjack coming in. Bear is now coming in from the other side. Are we going to see a Squirrel of Town Portal? A potion of healing was used as we need to get... Oh my goodness, Brilliance Aura finally picked up. Squirrel of Town Portal now used Replenishment Potion. Quickly, quickly shaved off as all the units will be able to retreat. The Pipe of Insight, going to be a very, very big item, a very big deal. More mana on the Keeper of the Grove, more mana on the Druids of the Claw. And with that, those Druids of the Claw are going to be able to recover from those fights much more significantly. And also, they're going to have more mana come um, after every single fight. Normally, bears do not reju uh, rejuvenate that much mana while in bear form. The Druids of the Claw need to go into Druid form really to mass up a large amount of mana. But right now, we're looking at that pipe of insight just giving one additional mana a second to all of these units that's effectively doubling their mana count right now as we're looking at a 1-1 one, one group of bears going up against 1-1 one, one. all right there goes the roar on both sides wisp now coming across staff of preservation needs to be used quickly if at all as one bear does get taken out all right continuing that fight there mana burn coming across vampiric aura the opposing aura from his opponent as we see a staff of preservation being used by Sonic. Sonic, with better staff of preservation use, may actually be able to win this out as Foggy may end up losing a bear right there. Uh, more attacks still coming across. Drew, to, no, no um, I don't believe I saw any any staff of preservation and usage at all coming in from from Foggy. So far, he's just been using that Zeppelin extremely well, but if he takes out the Zeppelin, then all of a sudden, one bear may get taken out. Scroll of Healing quickly used. Staff of Preservation used there. Both sides still fighting. Foggy may end up losing that Keeper of the Grove. One more attack is all that is needed. A mana burn, something. Boots of Speed, no, not available, as we still see a major fight going down south here. All right, another bear getting taken down. A red on yellow coming across here as this Keeper of the Grove is somehow staying alive. Units coming back down south again. Potion of Invulnerability. Entangle on a Druid-formed bear as the Keeper of the Grove is trying to maintain that Vampiric Aura across all of these units. There's one Dryad left. If you can finish off that Dryad, you will pretty much guarantee that the Entangles are going to actually stick onto his opposing units as the units are all able to retreat. Somehow, the Keeper of the Grove was able to stay alive. Meanwhile, down across here, Demon Hunter sitting at level 5, slow poison, um, and the poison from the Orb of Venom, enough to finish off that unit there. Is this Manual of Health still here? Yes, it is. 50 hit points. Who needs it? As we are looking at a supply, 50 over 70 compared to 48 over 70. Both sides still even at this point. 
even on upgrades level five level three going up against a level five or level four level three excuse me sonic needs to make up some ground here as this rock golem creep camp should give him a little bit of a leg up vampiric aura very very helpful um, during engagements brilliant aura always helpful who comes out ahead here as the ancient of war looks like it will get taken down rock golem the last rock golem um, left here the keeper of the grove really could have used some additional experience um, getting to level four for that level two thorns or at least counteracting some a, a bit more of that vampiric aura all right there you go there's a manual of health the keeper of the grove not watching that at all invisible demon hunter right there goblin zeppelin in the backfield and this could be a problem oh all this demon hunter can the demon hunter just sit right here and try to block and path it block the pathing that's going to take a look uh, you can see all the bears are now all um, already making their way back demon hunter down across over here as we see the dryads and the bears just trying to hang around back across here so far no hippogriffs no ancients of wind and that is going to be the big issue without the ancient of wind you you always have the threat of a goblin zeppelin dropping in hippo one hippogriff could clear that up in an instant but we do not have that at all so far the gold mines about another four minutes left before we run out of gold and with that, what you see is going to be what you get as we now are finally going into low upkeep by, well, only one side. Sonic currently going into low upkeep. Foggy still mining more and more gold, hoping to burst into low upkeep here in just a moment. There is the Goblin Zeppelin to keep track and the Dryads are still all here. Is the Goblin Zeppelin going to try and get away? Only one Dryad in that group compared to the two Dryads coming in from Sonic. And the demon hunter still invisible but how long how long will he just stay uh, stay back over. across here all right um one dry was able to f uh, get at least one shot across here and still this is a, a still a rather curious position the dryad will not be able to get that shot across here at all as he's going to be able to fly back off to the north no still flying back north and south but not doing very much at all we're sitting at 63 over 70 supply at 250 gold meanwhile we are sitting at 50 64 um over 70 supply with 200 gold as well 63 64 amount of gold we are still pretty much neck and neck upgrades 2-1 upgrades compared to i'm not sure i need to click on a bear but i don't see a bear actually out on the field to really determine what those upgrade levels are demon hunter still wandering around back heroes ready to go where are they going to be traveling to next a little bit of creep camps are all that are left on this map here goblin zeppelin still keeping track um here the demon hunter getting in one shot it is a mechanical unit so it will not take damage over time staff of preservation finally saves that goblin zeppelin it is teleported back home and the unit should be ready to go upgrades are two two for foggy so foggy has a slight upgrade advantage right now is it going to make that big of a difference as we're looking at a big fight here all right the granite golems coming into position if the demon hunter and the keeper of the grove can either of them level up that is going to be a very big deal also are we going to perhaps see any of the units engaging why is this granite rock golem not engaging that i'm not so sure about as the rock golem pulls off and pulls back some of that damage a little bit of a question on that ai there meanwhile we are looking at his goblin zeppelin without anything in it making its way straight across the field and with that little bit of extra items now brilliance aura on the demon hunter as well with that vampiric aura i gotta believe that sonic picked up the right item at the right time to do what he needs to do we're looking at 71 over 80 supply compared to 71 over 80 gold mines have another minute or so 70 seconds left of mining plenty of moon wells to try and fill up right now as both sides are getting ready for what will most likely be the final battle there are no reinforcements no expansions underway and um, perhaps we could see some sort of ent walking to establish an expansion but that doesn't seem to be the case here all of these druids of the claw should most likely be in a bear form unless he really wants those rejuvenations early he is already maxed out on mana on many if not all of those um, poor poor druids 
75 over 80 supply, 77 over 80, 280 some odd gold left in those gold mines, 30 gold, uh, 300 gold left here. We are still getting more bears. Another bear could be added and we are going to be close to 78 to 80 supply on both sides. Keeper of the Grove has level 2 Thorns Aura. It is a 4-4 compared to a 5-3, I believe. Yep, a 5-3. And that little bit of extra mana, that little bit of extra experience is gonna would have made a tremendous difference because of that Thorns Aura. No, Thorns Aura is already level 2. All right, it would have been level 2 in Tangle. But with the number of Dryads and now Brilliance Aura out on the field, it may not make that much of a difference. We see 1, 2, 3, 4 five dryads out on the field by sonic who is still waiting to pick his next fight wisp now out moving around let's see tree returnity getting that nature's blessing upgrade and meanwhile no nature's blessing upgrade here is it is, where is it going um it is moving there rather slowly as it is at 80 over 80 supply compared to 78 over 80. All right, Nature's Blessing, is it going to make that big of a difference? You can see all the Wisp are already lying in wait. That upgrade should have been done much, much earlier as we're looking at the main fight coming across. Here we go, big fight coming in the middle. 100, 100 mana burn going across, entangles now already going down, Dryads. Wisp already being brought over. How many detonations are we going to see? Um, Wisp just all in position here, and they're going to be coming in from behind. There's those detonations removing all of the mana from those Dryads and removing m m the much of the ability to try and abolish magic all of those Druids of the Claw. All right, still both sides fighting massive bear amounts as both of them are just going to try and slash each other away. So far, level 5 on both heroes again. It looks as though the Demon Hunter did in fact level up. Staff of Preservation saving Tree of Eternity getting into position here as the bears are still engaging once again. Bear trying to do a little bit more damage. 3-2 upgrades coming in from yellow. Meanwhile, only... Or 3-3 three, three upgrades coming in from foggy. So red does have the advantage in terms of upgrades, but is it actually translating out onto the field? Yellow seems to have a significantly more, uh, more bears I don't know if necessarily higher health, but that could just be a better use of, um, of healing as the Demon Hunter now going to be heading back. Demon Hunter very low on life as it looks as though a couple of low hit point bears are going to be forced to get away. And there you have it. Foggy says GG. And Sonic takes game number one. Thanks for, what, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. An extremely long drawn out game where anyone could have won. Um, it looked as though Foggy was able to uh, run away with his Demon Hunter, but it didn't even matter. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.